it isn't the special guests who seldom visit. Less busy than usual, I see. Oh! It's just Changsheng! <laughs> welcome, welcome! Here to procure an herbal remedy. Oh, she is! Creating new dishes is Xiangling's favorite thing to do! Hmm? Oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. Let's put that aside for a second. Traveler, what brings you here? Oh? Hopefully not because there's been some sort of cataclysmic event. Alrighty! Thanks for all your input! I'll be sure to take it all into consideration. Good. I'd like you to help me investigate something. It's about this stone. I'm sure you've become acquainted with the general background of the Moonchase Festival. However, I have my own understanding of this festival's roots. An ancient Liyue, which people paid tribute to at a certain time of the year. Very few written records make mention of the Stove God, and those that do are notoriously confusing. Some scholars believe that the Stove God was just another title held by the Lord of Geo, but others suggest that this was a different deity altogether. <clears throat> now that that's settled, time to get going. Jingsa Village is said to be home to a lot of historical texts, so I'd like to start by making some inquiries there. <sighs> I've come here to clean the book warehouse plenty of times before, but this is the first time I've run into these crooks. <laughs> yes. I'm just along for the ride, really. I see the Yuhang Kuching is with you. Hmm. Whatever brings you here must surely be a matter of grave importance. Your help thus far is quite ample. Liwe is a vast and rich land. All things that existed here in the past have left their trace. With minimal seasoning, Soups and stews, vegetables and broth, seafood or freshwater fish, either boiled or steamed. Forgive us, for this is where we must part ways. May your journey be a smooth one. Oh, Traveler, who are all these people? Friends of ours, allow Paimon to introduce Xiangling, Guoba, and Kuching. Hi. Legends claim that the Stove God once appeared at the Guili Assembly. A satisfying salad? What for? Yeah, guy who hangs out on the roof terrace, you know? Good looking fella, not too tall. Kuching! Xiangling! We're back! <clears throat> Sixty miles to the northwest is the- You think you own the place? I'll sit here, with Goomba! No, no, no. No, no. Please enjoy your meal at your leisure. I should get back to work now. <laughs> Your cooking's delicious, Yan Xiao. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the final. <laughs> You're too kind. <gasps> Goma, what are you doing? No. Uh, Goma's eating the... The rose for kuchings. How could you steal them while she wasn't looking? <sighs> My golden shrimp balls. You gotta be on your best behavior, okay? Hey, we're here! What is it? Is it to get along with? Didn't you see her sneaking treats to Goba back at Wangshu Inn? Oh, you're missing out. I'll cross them for you another time. But anyway, her favorite food was stolen away. She was still happy looking after Goba. I'm really grateful for that. You make a good point. We're okay for carrots and crab. What's going on? Cloud retainer. That does sound like an adeptus name. A while it has indeed been, traveler. Does one surmise correctly that you hasten hither to partake in the Moon Chase Festival? She seemed like someone very prestigious and very talented at cooking. Sorry I kept you waiting, Xiangling. This is the recipe. Oh. Master, how are you keeping these days? Are you well? Hello. Master, we came here because we have a question for you. Does this mean you know them personally? I must commend your guesswork this far. I did indeed know that 
Not something in which the ordinary Rex Lapis. Lady Kuching. Lady Kuching, Lady Ningguang wishes to speak with you. Child and anything she sets her mind to, she will diligently pursue. It warms my heart and makes me want to give her a helping hand. Beto, ahoy! Hey, look, who is she with? These three seem to have a great time with each other. Uh, is refreshing really a flavor? That's the exact opposite of Ningguang's taste. Seems like she's found her muse. Um, I think I know what I need to do. Who? Who is it? Okay, let's take turns shouting his name. Hyman's going first. Ahem. Um, nothing's happening. That's weird. Does he not want to hang out with us? Oh, right. Well, you should be the one- You called? Whoa! <gasps> he actually came! An Adeptus? Oh, it's Xiao, was it? Customers. And that includes me? Says you prefer mild food. Just the kind of person I'm looking for. That chef cooks dishes with soul, as do you. Both of you are masters of your craft. I'll be leaving now. See you next time. Only kinda maybe not really joking. Jeez. Will do. Good luck! <laughs> you bet! Appointment of this organizing committee, I am your host and officiator, Yenfei. The Yuhung, Lady Kuching. Sample our contestants' dishes and cast their vote. And to my right, a stalwart of Liyue Harbor Culinary... Uh, and her mysterious assistant, who knows who? Hey, everybody! I'll do my best! Please repeat after me. As a finalist in Masterful Chefs... The organizers have chosen the theme for today's event, and that theme is... Of Earth and Waterborne. The rules are simple. The one who receives the most votes wins. Well then, I look forward to both of your contributions. And may only use ingredients provided by the organizers in their dishes. to begin with. I can't have two sides with the same texture. But luckily, the organizers have provided some very aromatic broth. It's just a little too... Jiu Chili Chicken is the main event. Can't afford to compromise too much here, but maybe some pepper will set it apart without alienating anybody. Huh? Oh, Yin Xiao. He doesn't look so good. Ah, oh, Guava! Shengling's mysterious assistant appears to be aiding her opponent. Judges, are we going to allow this? Because that's what I do. Uh, uh, I guess I'll think of my mom then. And thanks to your... Um, well, thanks. We will proceed in the order that the contestants finished. My dish is... Adeptus Temptation with a mint salad and golden shrimp balls. It's a complex dish with very particular ingredients. Smoked ham, crab, fresh shrimp meat, and matsutake. Golden shrimp balls is a time-honored classic loved by everyone. A hearty and wholesome broth, followed up with a shrimp ball. <laughs> oh, pure bliss. By a mere one-vote margin. Xiangling! Wow! <laughs> A big thank you to all the audience for being here today, especially those who have come from far and wide. <sighs> all right, deal. I'll come 
find you guys after. This doesn't make any sense. We cooked our hearts out. In fact, I'll go find somewhere to make it right now. Wait here. We're back. You already knew. You mean you were able to make this? Wait, but isn't this dish from Kuching's grandpa's notes though? Quilva just reminded me of something. I actually made this dish on the day I first met Quilva. How did you first meet? It was in a cave in the mountains. I ducked inside to get out of the rain and saw an offering table in there, so I put the cornbread buns I brought with me on it. Then I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, I found out that Quilva had eaten every last one. Quilva followed me around ever since. We're practically family now. Hold up! Stop the conversation! Look! The, the stone! It burst open! It's... It's... Globa? What are you... What? Meta? Oh, indeed it does. After all, Globa is the deity you've been searching for. God of the stone. Quoba is a god? Uh, nah. Of course, the stove god himself is not contained within the statue. <laughs> the true stove god has been here with us all along. Uh. How does it feel seeing a statue of yourself from your glory days? Uh, look at him. Still so majestic. Machosius, god of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck stone. He was a god with a great love for humanity and their well-being. Millennia ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stove god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people back south to Liyue Harbor. Though the distance was not far, the journey was plagued by a terrible storm. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy, flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp, fit for those on the move. Centuries later, disaster and plague arose once more. The stove god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced, thus his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame, then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber. The stove god departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. The stove god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves and cooked food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. In Liyue, things have always been this way. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice, we are blessed by heaven's good grace. Years have gone by, the world has transformed, but our way of life survives. Fame 
and fortune is only a season. It is the moment that we should embrace. Past meets present. Heritage becomes legacy. Long into the future may we thrive. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, he... He is not who he once was. Even the power of speech evades him now. There is no way he could have told you. Boba, but... But... You may be the first person in history to give the stove god the experience of being a satisfied customer. If that's true, I couldn't be happier. Because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Hi, Dad. I'm back. Hey, hey, what are you doing there? I should be the one handling that. <laughs> oh, no! Globa's taken off! <laughs> oh, it's you. Hello there, old friend. Groba may not recognize you, but as ever, he seems quite delighted to see you. Mm. Oh, you can say that again. Xiangling is a remarkable child. 